Now look at us. All of us living in these times that have been described as dark, fearful, times of worry, unimaginable and unprecedented. Fears about COVID-19, AKA coronavirus. Fears about our jobs, our finances, highly concerned about our future well-being. Asking questions like, what will become of my savings? What will become of my family? What if someone I love becomes ill or die? What if I do? What about the things my family needs from day to day? You see, stress right now is at an all-time high. Possibilities of people who cannot cope with the situation suffering from depression and ultimately losing their lives to suicide losing their livelihoods just not knowing the way I see it is we have to realize that we were born with many inner abilities two in particular that's the ability to adapt and the ability, if we're willing, the ability to refocus. If you learn these things, that God has put these within you and you're aware of them, and you handle a situation in that manner, this is the first step to fighting against a situation like the one that we're currently undergoing. Explore your gifts. Be creative. All the things that you've been through in life, think about them. Think about the awkward situations that you had to adapt and refocus in. Think about times that you may have hurt one leg and had to put all the weight on the other leg. Think about maybe you broke your arm and had to use the other arm. You adapted. You refocused. I know those are small things, but I even think about times way, way, way back, long ago, <laughs> where I couldn't afford to pay my utilities and my lights were turned off. Well, I just go get some candles and light those. You see, I refocused. I adapted to the situation. God has given us an ability to live in a warmer climate and adjust to that or move to a cold climate and adjust to that. Our ability to adapt and refocus, that ability is endless. And I know that many people are still wondering how do you adapt to the fear of losing your life or a loved one losing their life to this terrible virus. The only defense for fear that I see to reduce it is knowledge. Because see, you gotta be careful with that fear thing because fear can create things worse than COVID-19 in your life, believe it or not. It can create stress. Stress leads to things like heart disease. It can lead to diabetes, high blood pressure. And you know that stress has always been known as the number one killer. You can let a situation get so far into your head that you attract illness to you. And being aware of these things is the first step to adapting and refocusing. The next step after awareness is developing a sense of purpose. A sense of purpose will give you that drive that keeps you in a positive mindset to make you realize that there is hope. I can remember my dad would always tell me that when times get tough, only the strong will survive. Be strong, people. Realize that you are a survivor. You are designed to adapt. Refocus. Be willing to adjust to the situation and make the best of it to keep your family safe and let them know that trouble don't last always. 
it shall come to pass. Just like anything that you've been through in life. We're on what they're calling a new way of life. Look at this as a new day and age, the beginning of a new tomorrow that you will create for yourself by refocusing, redirecting, and creating a new path. Adjust, adapt, and refocus. I'm Hurricane Maine, and I thank you.